Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today what we're going to be doing is a Valentine's Day look. Now I know that my look is really extra but my style is extra. If yours isn't then I hope you can still enjoy the video and take a few tips from it and I would love to see what kind of looks you end up doing for Valentine's Day whether it be for your sweetheart or for yourself so tag me at Alyssa Morias on Instagram and without further ado let's get started. Okay, so today I am doing a Valentine's Day look. I don't have a Valentine, okay? My best friend's my Valentine, per usual, but if you have a Valentine, you get cute for them, or get cute for yourself, I get cute for myself. So I'm gonna be using the, the James Charles uh, Morphe collab. And then, can I just say, like, he killed it with this packaging. This packaging is the bomb, the bomb. And all of the shade names are like on this little sheet right here. So I'm not gonna bother like reading them off during the tutorial. I'll just put them like in the bottom corner or something so that you know what I'm using and when. Let's get started so we can sister slay. Oof, Lord, that's cringy. I'm gonna have to edit that out. So next I'm going to take this pinky rose palette and it's called Hypnotize. It's like a pressed glitter palette because I don't really see any pressed glitters in there that would go with the look that I'm doing and it has a ton of different shades of like pink. So I'm going to pick one of them and cut my crease with it. Hey Liz. Hello. What are you doing? I'm recording a video before going to school. Okay, hi everybody. On. Yes, interrupting my video. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Bye everybody. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pressed glitter with my finger because it was not sticking with this flat brush like I tried but it kind of just fell all over my face so that's great but yep that's what I cut the crease with now I'm gonna go back and define like the line I'm taking like this tiny paintbrush don't judge me I can't find a makeup brush small enough but I'm gonna go back into the crease Using this red right here, can you see that? Hold on. Using this red, that was a bad decision. Hold on. Let me fix that. Wow, yikes. Okay, so here's what, what the eyes are looking like. I just put some red in the crease, but if you use this glitter, I suggest using like eyelash glue or something to get it to stick to your lid because it got on there, but once I started blending and stuff, it started sticking everywhere. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone in my inner corner now. Okay. 
Okay, so what I did is I highlighted my inner corner with this lighter highlight color right here. And then I took like the pinkish toned one and put it on my brow bone just because I thought it would have a softer look than the white one. So next we're going to move on to eyeliner. Okay, so after lining my eyes, I'm just going to go in and use some of the um, colors that I put on my lid and put them under my eye. Okay, so I just made an attempt to clean the glitter off of my face. Um, it actually came off pretty well. I don't think I got all of it off, but now I'm going to put on some mascara. I use L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes on my top lashes and now I'm going to take the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and use that for my bottom lashes. I don't usually use blush, but because it's a Valentine's Day look, I think it would be nice if my cheeks had like a soft pink touch to them to match the eyes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. And I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in Rose... Rose Adore? Rose Doro? I don't know. Okay, look. That color. Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. And I use that with a Sephora angled brush. Um, I have the Anastasia one, but I don't like it because the hair fibers are too soft. So it puts the pomade on in a really thick type of way that makes your eyebrows look way too drawn on. I'm just going to brush the front of my eyebrow out with a spoolie. So next I'm going to highlight with Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop. Next, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color San Paolo. Okay, 
So I have these 3D face stickers and then these face gems. And I know some people might be thinking, oh, this is overkill for Valentine's Day. Why don't you just do like a natural pretty look? And while that is like a great look, I think you should do what makes you happy on Valentine's Day. Okay, I'll put these, you know, gems on my face when I eventually get the package open. Okay, so I just went ahead and put the face gem kind of like right under it. I'm not sure I like this lipstick look with this makeup look. I think it's a little bit like too dark of a shade of pink. So I'm going to go find another lipstick to put on top of it to lighten it up and make an ombre type of effect. So I just put the Too Faced um, Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick on in the center in the color Melted Marshmallow. So this is the final look. So I enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.